You know, I, I think it's interesting in terms of how you get roped into things sometimes. I think it's the ultimate bait and switch. You may come for a treadmill and you come back because you're meeting your best friend there. I'm very passionate about what the YMCA does for our community and more than just a place to work out, which a lot of people use it for that purpose, but the connection it has with many community organizations to uplift Muncie. The YMCA is one of my favorite organizations because of all they do. The YMCA's mission is to put Christian principles into practice through programs that build healthy spirit, mind, and body for all. In order to have a strong community, we need to invest in our youth, our health, and our neighbors. We are located in a food desert, and many families um, are at risk. So they're living in low poverty um, situations, and many children don't know where their next healthy meal will come from. Everything doesn't need to happen within the bricks and mortar that we have uh, to create the impact that is needed to meet and address community needs. So anti-hunger work specifically, uh, it's the Ross Center, it's, it's Inside Out, it's uh, Motivator Minds, it's the Parks Department, all coming together. Something that we say at the Ross Center always is the community market is not charity. It's friends helping friends through difficult times. Sometimes you have to choose between going to work or taking your kids to school or going to get something. You're hungry, you're sitting there, and you're not listening to a darn thing your teacher is saying. So if we can get basic needs met, children will grow and develop so much easier, so much faster if we are just meeting their basic needs. I think last year alone we served somewhere around 150,000 meals to ensure kids had the resources from a nutritional standpoint that they need. It can never be about the unequal positionality of I have the power and you don't. Oh, here I am and I am giving you something. At this time, you're going through some challenges. We're here to help. We're here to support you. Nobody wants a child to be hungry, so what is it that we can do together as a community to support these families? It is definitely on the forefront of our minds uh, to continue to push our anti-hunger effort here um, at the Y to make sure that we're getting healthy, sustaining meals into as many children's bellies as possible. Our focus is on building community through advancing education, health, and wellness. Crosley is a place uh, for kids to get out of their comfort zones, try new things, spend time outside, and truly be themselves. Not only is there summer camp, but there are outdoor education programs throughout the year, day camps, lots of opportunities for kids and adults um, to really enjoy the, the beautiful place that is Camp Crosley. It's those one to two weeks I spent at camp that I truly treasured. And I think any camper would tell you the same thing as they look back. It's not, sorry, mom and dad, I don't remember what else you had me do that summer. I remember you sent me to camp and I remember, you know, that time there and I treasure that and I still do today. The great things about outdoor education, it brings excitement to activity and curriculum and also connects you to community and uh, helps facilitate the building of relationships and give you an overall understanding of, of environment. And I think it helps de develop future philanthropists so that they care about the environment that they're in and that they understand that it takes everybody to create the community that we all want to live in. Anything that you have, they can recycle and make into art. I have framed pictures of sticks and feathers painted on paper. Really, it, it just helped them find a treasure in everything. Mitchell prepared them completely for anything they would need educationally. We might be able to illustrate that stuff at home, but it was gonna be more easily received if it was coming in a fun way uh, with peers, because they feed off one another. You know, and they get excited together when somebody figures something out and they, they can teach it to someone. In order to have a strong community, we need to invest in our youth, our health, and our neighbors. We're heavily invested in 
early childhood education and ensuring that kids are prepared and ready for kindergarten. We are ensuring that people can reclaim their health through chronic disease prevention programs, whether that's Live Strong at the YMCA, uh, which is a cancer survivorship program, or Enhanced Fitness, which is an arthritis management program. Well, it puts me in a routine that I need. It helps me build up strength of my upper and lower body, which uh, needed a lot of assistance, and I appreciate the uh, team effort that's here at the Y. The discipline it takes to get better, the discipline it takes to collaborate, the discipline it takes um, to, to uplift others from a leadership standpoint. The YMCA plays a huge part in athletics in our community. You, you tend to see the same faces in, in the connection in the high schools and, and the YMCA as well. A lot of times the barriers that, are, that exist are, are those school boundaries, if you will. Uh, whether you go to Muncie Central, Delta, Yorktown, Muncie Burris, the Y is a place where all of those students can come in together and they're part of Muncie, Indiana. It's building community. It's something as simple as, in this case with the Y and at the market, how's the family? People start, they want to be, they want to tell their stories. They want to be listened to. The stories tell a lot. Um, stories of you know how the why's impacted people and everybody's story is different and that's why it's so impactful is because uh, what what may be a big success to somebody uh, may be a different success to another person it's more than just business it's more than just living here it's to support the greater community everybody wants to move the community forward and the YMCA is one of those big pillars that just uplifts our community the solutions are sometimes not easy. The solutions sometimes don't come as quickly as we'd like for them to. They, they, they take a little bit of time, and, and yes, they do take money too. Every year with the annual campaign, 100% of the donations, proceeds, go directly to programs. You know, we mentioned the word uplift a lot. It, it, it's uplifting the ability of the YMCA to do what they've always done and be a pillar for this community and be able to move Muncie forward. When folks give of their time or their treasure, uh, they want to know that it's going to a great cause. The rewards of the efforts uh, of being able to, to provide opportunities, uh, provide support, um, you know, be a voice uh, for all the great things that are going on. That aspect of community being right at the YMCA, uh, it's, it's everything we're striving to be.